Here we are, President Obama has become the newest president of the United States, our 44th president, the first African-American president in the history of this country. And he has made it his goal to save or create four million new jobs. I want to put a face on this issue. What is going through Congress right now is a bill to try and stimulate jobs in this country. And this package is an attempt to create over the next two years between 1.3 million and 4 million jobs. Seated in this room is a student from Fernando Rivera Middle School. Her name is Nikki Chavez. Nikki's family, her father and her two brothers, have lost their jobs in the last year. My dad was um, a manager, European car dealership thing, something like that, and then the business closed. Um, my brother worked for Genentech, and the other brother was also a car salesman. My dad's gonna take a job out of the country. He's working in the Philippines. Um, I understand why he's going there. It's to help my family, and like, like of course I don't want him to leave, but he has to do what he has to do. That's what we are trying to address. And we're also here to put a face on the absolute lack of funding that has been available to schools in California and across this country for very simple and very serious maintenance, rehabilitation, and modernization needs. Now you may be wondering why would we put money into education? In California in particular, uh, the needs are great. California will rank 47th in the nation in for pupil spending if the cuts that Governor Schwarzenegger has requested are actually voted on. So at a time when we are at our lowest ebb ever in funding for education in California, having this additional money, these billions of dollars coming to California will be huge in an effort to stave off um, more than cuts, more jobs lost. One last and very important point. Unlike previous government spending programs, every nickel, and I will repeat, every nickel of this money will be completely trackable, transparent, and accountable. And I applaud President Obama for recognizing the importance of embarking on this kind of reform.